we have two readings in this session. And I want to talk about ticks and samples um, and give you a better explanation of how they work and what they're about. Now here in this mini session we have ticks. Let's, let's subtract here I have ticks. And here in this other track of a region right here. Let's lower and see the region. There we go. These are this is a sample right here, region. This is sample based. So it's samples. Now the difference here is that in timeline regions, uh, this sample is defined and a definite beginning and an end to it. And you see it right here, this is the length of this entire region. And so it's a finite beginning and end. It doesn't change. And it's based on the sample rate. It's going to be 44.1. And so it starts and ends at that point. And at that point, from the beginning of the sample, it starts playing back all those little samples there from the high and low regions of the entire sample depth of it, which is about 16-bit, the depth of the sample. It's going to play from the beginning to the end. Ticks are based mainly on the tempo. And they're a distance between the first beat and the next beat. You want the subdivision between these beats. So if the song has a lower BPM, let's say it's 60 beats per minute, then it's longer than the song's going to last longer. It'll take a longer period of time for the subdivision to go by. And you'll see it here between each one. You'll see, I'm going to go ahead and pull down on my mouse. You'll see from three all the way to beat number four, we have 959 clicks. If I go all the way down again, plus zero, make it 960 clicks. And so that's the difference between the clicks and the samples. And what happens here is that these clicks are distances between notes here. These little notes here and many, many notes right here. And so these clicks appear from one beat to the next, and they're 960. So that means that if my tempo is faster, this will go by faster. Each one of those clicks corresponds to a time link within the system. So clicks are related to, in many in this case, to the BPMs and the distance between one note and the next note, or the next beat. So let's say from beat one to beat two, there are 960 subdivisions where a note can be placed. The difference here is that if I speed the tempo up, and I get a really fast tempo for what a section will say, I say I want to speed my tempo up in this. Then what happens here is that these the mini part speeds up, but the sample doesn't. This will not speed up. So I speed up my tempo to the song. It will not speed up at all. Because it's already set. This sample is set for a specific tempo. Unless I use elasticity and I want to change the tempo of this to fit a specific tempo I've set up for that session.